This is message received. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that message was received. <laughs> I believe it was fuck you. Um, so, uh, man, again, this uh, this has a lot of dread. Um, but Paradeath now, Crystal Jam, yay! Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll let I'm, you go first. I'm torn, because I kind of liked her, like, sitting on the fence. Because like I, I well, hope, she was throughout most of the. Episode I hope this isn't. Like. I hope this isn't a softer, nicer Paradot. I hope she still maintains her personality. That's, no, that they'll still have her. Yeah, that's my only criticism. Is like or my only worry is that I liked Paradot because she's this outsider who is always just grumpy as fuck. Well, she, you, so. you, you didn't even. It ends with her on the ground covering her. Yeah, no, I like that ending. That gave me hope, but. Um, uh, but no, yeah, they, they did a, they, they did a bit of a maiden switch. I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure. I was like, oh, maybe she's just betraying them. And then, and no, she I, she takes that yellow D down. I thought it would be at least like two more episodes that she would come back. Because uh, when you see her with the diamond, she's like, I'm gonna contact Yellow Diamond. I'm gonna get in contact. I'm gonna tell her what's going on. Everything. I mean, it's one of those things. I'm like, okay, so she's gonna be doing this. Eventually she'll come back, but it'll be like two or three episodes. Or I something. like, I by the way, the same how epic this whole crystal gem-like world is in these giant beings, and like it, it feels like mythic and legendary. And yet when they talk, it's like some inane bureaucracy. Just like state your name. Who are you? Give me the phone. <laughs> Give Whoa. me the diamond phone. Like, listen here, you. You got a job. To, I'm like. It somehow still works. Like Jupiter sending oh, no, no, take it, notes. No, it really works because like, I, I like think that it's, it's showing, kind of this bureaucracy. It's showing how small they really are in the grand scheme of things, but it also shows how much these small people can do. And that's why I like you have people who are small literally in size and then small in uh, you Even know, their the stamina. smallest of beings can affect the outcome, Frodo. Well, I really love those stories. I really do. Um, I like it when they're done well. I like it when they really show a legitimate threat. Because we've seen this all the time. Oh, well, they're nothing. They can't get it. They're, they're just, you know, so minuscule. And we've seen what minuscule people can do. And what, you know, they can do when they can get others together. And they can inspire. And they can, you know, especially with the internet. We've seen that a lot. So I still love stories like that. That's why I still watch Game of Thrones, because all, like, the strategy and everything, I'm like, I don't give a shit. What's going on with Tyrion? What's going on with Arya? What's going on with Daenerys? Like, those are in the... I always forget the female knight, wherever she is. Those are all, like, the underdogs, the outsiders that said, fuck you, and I'm gonna do something awesome, and they're always doing something Whatever, awesome. Whatever, dude. We all know Stannis is gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> so... It is... It is no. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I thought there was a good feeling of dread here, a good, you know, sort of not entirely knowing what she's gonna do, but it's... Is it strange to say there is a part of me that just... I don't want to see it with Peridot, but just with something I want to see where it's like, you don't know what side they're gonna turn, and then they turn to bad, and they never come back. You know, I so rarely see it. The only time I've ever that seen it. That doesn't that, sell movie tickets! No, the only time I've ever seen it... Or get good ratings! It was a later Simpsons episode where Marge takes, like, this criminal that's trying to rehabilitate, uh, rehabilitate himself and be better, and he's just, you don't know it yet, but he's constantly lying to her, saying he wants to get better, and then he'll just go, like, light a fire or something, and she'll be, at the very end, she's like, you said you were gonna try and change everything! He says, Marge, I'm not gonna lie, I did not set that fire. I saw you set that fire! Marge. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! And just sends him off. It's one of those things where it's like, as tough as a lesson as that is, it's one of those things where it's like, I think there's, I think there is good in everybody and everybody can change, but the likelihood of... Sometimes what, people are just fucked up. Well, no, the likelihood of they when they're change, going to change. They can change, that doesn't mean they're going to. Yeah. Just and, because you can do something doesn't mean that they're going to do I something. I think everyone has their amount of time that they can change, whether they're good or bad. It's, is there enough time in this lifespan, <laughs> you know, like, you know, it could take a hundred years for someone to change, uh, and if they mean, live that long, maybe, but... We're fucked, we know that. Yeah, I mean, there's no changing us, we're just assholes, uh -huh. but it's one of those things where... Yeah, he's ruined us. I think, because we do, are raised on so many shows and stories and stuff that say people can change for the good, yes, they can. They don't always, and people watching at home, I think everyone has had to go through an experience where you've I had to take somebody really close and be like, I will look, say, you're not the I same feel person. Like, I feel whatever. like I see that lesson way more in foreign films and anime. Mm. 
Um, I is feel there like a I'm, lot? Of, is there a lot? Yeah, of it's, just... it's not that there's a lot in anime, but I feel like I've seen it more. Where it's just like, oh no, this is gonna be an asshole. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you thought it was gonna be good? No, nope, fuck you. Like, I feel like I've seen that more in that realm. You're right. I don't see it as much in American television. Or if they do change, they usually come back uh, eventually. Even if it's like, you know, I think of like Zuko in Avatar. Like, you know, he did change back, but then like it took a, a pretty much half a season for him to come back. Um, so it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's a hard lesson. I think it's an important lesson, honestly. Uh, and Teach it's, children not to trust anyone. Well, see, that's the hard part is that it's just, it's experience. It's, it's going to be different for everybody. And some people have an incredible tolerance and incredible patience and can see that good and can get that good out of people <laughs> that nobody else can. But it's like... Quasimodo, the world is cruel. <laughs> the world is wicked. But you know what I'm talking about. You, <laughs> everyone is going to have someone that they cannot change over, that they cannot bring back. Doug's happy show fun hour. <laughs> you would like no. to see this show. No, my, I think it's healthy to know that it's like just because you couldn't doesn't mean A, somebody else can't. Hey, kids, and remember, true evil exists. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Just because you can't change somebody over doesn't mean A, somebody else can, and B, that... See, you made me forget my B. <laughs> um, you know, for, 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 all of, for all of my ranting, I actually would totally watch that <laughs> show. <laughs> I thought that'd be fucking amazing. No, I, I, I think it's something where it just because you can doesn't mean somebody else can't possibly win it back, and it doesn't mean it's going to be done in the amount of time that, you know you're gonna be alive, you know? It, it's one of those things where it's like, there is good in everybody, but that doesn't mean you're always gonna get to it. Yeah, um, we're all sinners and we're all doomed. I think- it, Moving on. No, it, it's healthy to know when, it's healthy to know exactly when to do that, when to move on, and how much is this person taking more from you than you're giving to them, if that makes sense. Um, it does. So, okay. I just don't know how you make a kid show aimed at seven-year-olds. Bullshit, yeah. it's not just seven-year-olds, you know it's not. <laughs> okay, seven to, 37. There you go. Um, but uh, I really thought like Yellow Diamond was legitimately intimidating and I love that. I love how big she is. I love the way she's drawn. I she love was. that. You In saw that, her profile. She would only yeah. glance over to look at very, you. I love yeah, that. Very snooty and definitely intimidating but in that bitchy boss sort of way. Uh, Just like I am your superior, do what I say, or I'll fire your ass. But there's also this sense, like, especially when you see how Peridot is, you know, cowering before her, and she's not even in the same room, but she's just cowering before this giant, and you see how big she is, because you, you know how big Pearl is, and there's another uh, Pearl there. Uh, apparently they don't know every single Pearl. Um, I thought that was funny. Uh, <laughs> I felt like there was something racial there. Like, uh, yeah, I kind of felt We all too. don't look alike! <laughs> <laughs> we all don't know each other. Um, but... Yeah, it was something where when she did get legitimately angry, it was, you know, ooh, like you just feel like she can she can wipe out this player, she can bring a war, she can do something. Because I like that she has not only the size, because was, was it Jasper was the one that came down that was also huge and then got, um, she's at the bottom of the ocean now or whatever. Was that the name? Was it Jasper? Is that her name? The giant yellow one that came down the first big battle or whatever. I think. Whoever so, it was, uh, you know, when that, she, was, she, that was a while ago. Well, she, she had the size, but you know, she's she's a big, she's a bro, she's a thug, she's a you know bully. Uh, where I think with this one, there's just this intimidation. There's just this you know cloud about her that's just like you know, no, you are beneath me. I could snap you. I real feel real like, people with power don't shout. That's always the line yeah, that people. I feel say. like I feel like it's the emperor mm. from Return of the Jedi, not the emperor from the prequels. That was stupid. <laughs> but the Emperor from Return of the Jedi, where you just had this feeling of immense power. Like, he didn't need to do it. Yeah, and he, because he was so he frail, he just sat in that chair, but yeah, you just felt like, yeah. if he just wanted to be, eh, you die. Yeah. Which is kind of how it went down. At the very end, he starts throwing out the yeah, lightning. Yeah, he just points like, his fingers, and he's like, yeah. ah, 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 They're fighting with lightsabers. He's like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I thought that was, uh, yeah, no, I think that's a good, legitimate threat and uh even though we've barely seen her we don't know much about the way people react to her and just the few choice lines and the way she's drawn and the expressions and the voice acting i thought that this is a good here's threat the, here's another important lesson for kids besides don't trust anyone and we all have a deep dark sitting past um <laughs> i want this show to happen <laughs> <laughs> doug's happy fun <laughs> It'll be like Sean Penn's happy <laughs> fun hour. <laughs> um, the other thing is always have a backup plan because she went into this thinking this was going to work 
And she didn't prepare herself emotionally. Well, I think that's part of her problem. She thinks logic rules. But she makes the most illogical mistake ever, which is, you know what? I ain't blowing up shit and you suck. And I just told you that. So now we can't stall for time. You're gonna come and kick all her asses and what the fuck did I just do? Yeah, well, like, she, she, she even says just, we, you know. Yeah, so she could have just, like, lied and been like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll get on that, turn it off and be like, okay. Well, but our ship is gotta... coming in. I mean, that was the thing, is that... I feel like you just... Coming. Yeah, but I feel like you've lost precious stalling... In this case, she's the one who's just like, every minute counts. And she just lost more precious stalling minutes. Even if the well, ship no, clearly, comes, they still gotta figure out what's going on, and now they know exactly what's going on. Because she just told Well, and this that. is why I like the connection with the last episode, because you know she's on this emotional high, yeah. where it's like, you know, it's almost like she saw her roots again, and she wanted to return oh, back no. to that nostalgia and everything, and she just sense. panicked. For the character, she had a complete meltdown. Like, knowing what we know about Paradox, she had a meltdown, and it makes total sense, but it is one of those things where I'm like, No! <laughs> you just you, what, you one just miss, one showed all your cards. One missed opportunity when she said, You know, and we're, you know, there's things out here, and we're going to protect it. I wanted uh, Yellow, Yellow Crystal just, or Yellow Diamond just go, We? I, I wanted oh, that moment. The, no, no, I mean, just for all of them to be like, you know, crap, like, we just totally outed there's more. Uh, you <laughs> that, know. that would have been great. Then Garden is just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also really like the joke about the detonator. Just, Somebody take this while it'll probably explode. And then she just falls on the ground, not caring what's going to happen. Them just tossing it back and forth and hitting into the air. I love them hugging her and being like, you're going to be a crystal gem. Just, ugh. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it's a uh, good episode. I, yeah, good episode. Uh, curious where it's gonna go. We're on to oh, and the um, the animation we should mention. Yes, the a lot of the expression. The, I, lo the I love the Emma, robot the running. Emma copter. <laughs> yeah, that's or right. the Helifist or whatever the hell that was was one of the most <laughs> hilariously amazing things I've seen. In this Not show. since dog copter. Not since dog. I, you know what? I fucking like this better than dog. Yeah, so do I, I, said, there, even, I said it. It's better than dog. Captain. Even for Steven Universe, I was like, "Well, this, this animation is, is getting really wacky." Yeah. No, I, um, I love that. The uh, the way the robot moved, the expressions again are wonderful uh, in this one. Oh, the whole I, the whole car lock thing. It's like, yeah, I was just thinking uh -huh, of that. For we have the technology of safety lock. Oh! Yeah, I, I love her reactions. <laughs> oh, no. And then she's like, how, oh, God. Could, how could you cage the awkward but lovable paradox? <laughs> it's like, even she's acknowledging, like, you know, her quirky character. Um, All those were good, too. We focused on the ending, but I forgot. There was a lot of good bits in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, I love it when she's in the car and they, they shadow her and all you see are the eyes. And again, it's like, technically that makes no sense. You wouldn't be able to see the eyes if, you know, if all shadow and stuff. But I love, again, that's great about animation. You can do that and it can just set the mood so much better and add so much more to our character. Um, it is no. Yes. So, um, yeah, good episode, and uh, definitely looking forward to the last one of, I guess, the season or before the hiatus? I have, according to, like, my Wikipedia thing, it's like, we're still technically on season two, but then people are telling me it's like season three or four. I it's don't like, know. I don't know, but what, there's another Steven bomb coming, which sounds like some sort of goofy terrorist threat to me, but that's <laughs> what they Steven call bomb. them. So, yeah, they call them Steven bombs, or it's a whole bunch of episodes at once. Oh, um, okay. Now I just imagine like these little bombs with the face of Steven. It's like, Steven! 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, looking forward to it, and we will see you at the last one before the Steven bomb. Later. Glare.